You're watching NewsX. I'm Megha Sharma. At 6 p.m. today, every single day for the past several months, we have been discuss having discussions with regards to businesses, their game plan to go ahead and fight the coronavirus battle, the lockdown battle. Many of them have come out resilient. Many of them have come out successful. And these are the success stories that we go ahead and discuss. Joining me on the broadcast, a very special one today, are a number of key business persons, entrepreneurs, startups, that have been launched by them in the past several few months, in the past several years as well. Uh, join me in welcoming uh, Ram N. Kumar, who's the founder of Nirog Street. Samir Kalra joins me on the broadcast, who is the co-founder and chief growth officer for Pum Pum Pum. It is a startup to help you lease used cars. So that's an interesting startup. We will be delving more in that. Pranav Maheshwari, who's the co-founder of uh, Vista Rooms, joins me on the broadcast. Uh, Dr. Bijoy Kumar Sahu, who's the founder and mentor for Sai International Education Group, amongst the tallest institutions that have come forth from Bhuvaneshwar in Odisha. Uh, Samijit Roy, founder Amora Elder Care, a very important and crucial service that is being provided by this startup. Mohit, the co-founder and CEO of Moneyfront, also joins me. So does Ria Mohanty, who is the CEO uh, fashion brand Khaleesi Women. Uh, I will be, uh, in fact, uh, uh, momentarily be joined by uh, Anurag Batra, Dr. Anurag Batra, who has gone ahead and conceptualized and brought out all our panelists today. He will be joining us very shortly. He is the chairperson and editor-in-chief of Business World magazine. And uh, welcome on the show, guests, uh, panelists. It's, it's, great, it's a great pleasure to have you. And Let me bring in Mohit. Mohit, uh, give us a sense of what's happening in your business. How have you pivoted in the last six months? And where do you see your business and the economy going in the next six months? Mohit? Yeah. Thanks, thanks, Dr. Batra. Uh, I think honestly, this time has been a real boom time for us. We were always a digital platform, but only limited as a brand money front to the B2C segment. What we have done in the last six months is we have completely steered to B2B segment, realizing that there were a lot of tier two and tier three cities where there were a number of participants in the financial industry who weren't technologically savvy or who didn't have a digital platform to get their clients enabled and fulfill transactions uh, completely sitting in the uh, cocoons of their home. So we've launched a digital B2B platform uh, and you will not uh, believe we've almost signed up 1100 plus uh, B2B partners so far, all from tier two and tier three cities, none from metros. These are all chartered accountants who were into financial advisory business, but completely physical in nature. They have totally migrated to digital platforms. Yes. We've also launched an analytics platform to uh, cater to large uh, private banks of the country where we can provide digital analytics solutions, which they can like directly transport to their clients, right? So we've done a lot uh, digitally. Being a digital platform, the transformation was quite easy to us. It came naturally. But uh, I think for us as an industry... Sounds fascinating, Mohit. But give us a sense of the kind of business that has been generated on your platform once you sign up these 1100 uh, B2B partners. Uh, through numbers, numbers don't lie. So give us a sense of how the adoption has happened. Sure, sure. So as I told you, we have signed up like 1100 partners who are uh, who uh, have tied up with we uh, with us to uh, further take the proposition digitally to their client set. And each one of these guys cater to almost like 500 to 1000 odd clients individually in their own local cities and towns. So the multiplier effect is quite huge out there in terms of AUMs, uh, which is the assets which we manage. We have like in this last six month odd digitally, we have grown over 200 odd crores, uh, which is the kind of volumes we have generated through our platforms uh, just in the last six months, which is actually uh, doubled from a normal rate of uh, volumes, which we used to transact through our platforms. So uh, on all fronts, uh, Anurag, uh, whether be it a B2B side or the B2C side, uh, and even on the new business segments which we have launched, we have seen volumes multiply and we have also seen the client base uh, uh, increase many fold. Thank you so much, Mohit. Two questions and I want short and a specific answer. First, when do you see the Indian economy coming back in full bloom? Second, um, what is your top lockdown lesson? One or two? Let me start with Mohit. Mohit, when do you see the Indian economy coming back in full bloom? Six months, 12 months, or 18 months? Uh, Dr. Batra, I'll go to the last end. I think full bloom is 18 months away, or perhaps a little more than that. Uh, but the gradual stop. I stock... say that, Mohit. Qualify that. 
look, Dr. Batra, so we uh, will degrow by minus 10 percent this year on the GDP front, right? Uh, to grow from that kind of a muted base and again revive the economic activity. As I look at all the economic indicators, the agricultural sector demand is almost back at 100 uh, if we take Feb as the base of 100. Uh, but the core manufacturing sectors, the cement, the steel, the consumer goods, all those kind of things are at around 80 odd level, right? For them to come back to a level of 100, which was the Feb activity, I think uh, it'll be first quarter next year. Post which the, uh, the pickup starts happening, which is the growth which was expected this year if COVID wasn't there, right? So you would have grown by, let's say, five, five and a half percent if COVID wasn't there, which means the actual numbers which would have come this year perhaps will come FY22. Uh, so that's our assumption. I think FY20 has got whatever, 2021 has got written off completely. Uh, you should just uh, write it off in terms of economic indicators or the growth per se and uh, start your countdown from next year onwards. And that's where what, the ticket what, What's your top lockdown lesson? What have uh, you learned in the last seven months? that will hold you in good stead throughout your life? Uh, I think the biggest lesson which we learned and quite early during the uh, pandemic was that hope is a good thing, but hope is uh, never a strategy. And I uh, keep saying hope is not a plan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hope is never yeah. a strategy. And I, I think we picked it up in the month of April, uh, March itself, where we thought uh, being a digital platform will be able to well survive and do, but we had to do a lot of innovation. We had to uh, cross a lot of digital uh, barriers to actually reach, reach out to the last mile. Uh, we were physical in many, many forms and aspects. We went to the B2B side, we went to the analytics side, we went to the treasury side, and we kind of figured out a lot of new avenues which were all digitally solvable. Uh, and today we are, a, we are a different business altogether what we were in last six months. And that's just because we didn't rely on hope. Uh, because we always thought that there is no end to this. Right. And uh, around the month of April, we kind of figured out that you can't peg an end to this epidemic. Viruses are not so easy to have. Uh, 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 and history testifies that you've never solved a virus per se. Right. So and we so kind of figured out that we'll have to uh, innovate and challenge it uh, in a different form. Thank you. Yeah, we, we should be publicizing it. We should be advertising it. And the people who are watching us at this point of time should definitely be going ahead and rolling themselves when it comes to Kalasi fashion. Pam, pam, pam. It's a it's, it's, it's used car leasing startup doing fantastic business. Nirok Street. Uh, you can book doctors, appoint, doc appoint doctors, and uh, get uh, medicines online as well. That's, that's a very important strategic gap that is being fulfilled at this point of time. Vista rooms, luxury villas, even as people go about exploring their vistas when it comes to domestic tourism. Uh, SAI International Education Group uh, doing fantastic work. We have also spoken about Amora LDK. I cannot thank the Amora people cannot thank Samajit Rao for doing a very important social service uh, as well over here. And, and, and of course, uh, last but not least, Mohit Gang, who is uh, spearheading Money Front. So for all your mutual fund needs advisory, you, you go over there. On that note, I will slip into a short break. I thank all my panelists for joining me on this uh, very interesting, insightful broadcast. They have gone ahead and shed light into the businesses that are growing despite the virus. It is the Prime Minister's Atmanir Bracal, and they all are actually walking the talk of Prime Minister.